I don't know. It could have been completely different had I not asked my doctor a few simple questions. I'm Heather Morrill. I had a vertebral artery dissection that led to a stroke when I was two days before my 38th birthday. Well, she started noticing she was having some dizziness issues and she was having problems walking and some problems with balance. And so when she was transferred to MUSC, we were able to do an MRI which showed that she was having small strokes in the back part of her brain. This is a picture of Heather's blood vessel in the back of her head that was supplying her brain. Down here you see the blood vessel is normal and we say normal because it's very smooth walled and it's, of, and it's of normal size but as we come up we start to see little indents into the blood vessel and irregularities and as we continue to travel up we can see the blood vessel gets very small and even in this point right up here it becomes very very small. This whole area of the blood vessel has been diseased or injured from her dissection and because of this she has decreased blood flow going to her head and you can actually see her brain is up here and you do not see any blood flow even getting up to the brain from this side. I got transferred that morning and within four hours I was on the table to have my artery rebuilt. It was worse than what they had anticipated. He had to put seven stents in, one artery which he's never had to do before, hopefully he hasn't had to do again. But um, I woke up and then they told me that I had suffered a stroke at that point. I couldn't stand up unassisted. I had to relearn to walk. I would fall to the right because um, my artery dissection and stroke was on the right side. At the end of the procedure, you can now see Heather's blood vessel is much wider and more normal and coarse. But most importantly, you can now see that she's supplying the brain with valuable blood flow and preventing her from having any further strokes. And that areas of narrowing that you saw here are now gone because they've been reconstructed with stents. Being a good little boy. Yes, you are. I'm a veterinarian. I love it. It's work, but, you know, it's, it's fun. Keep you on your toes. All right, well, we'll check her over first, and then we'll come back to the mess. Hello, sweet girl. I'm like 100%, other than a little short-term memory, so I'm, I'm really good. There you go. So I was lucky to be in Charleston within a close driving distance when it happened. Take the time to inform yourself and choose the hospital that's best for you. I'm Heather Morrill, and I'm living proof that MUSC is changing what's possible in healthcare.